What's good people? Welcome back to the video. Today, I've got some more Easy Meal Man. We're checking out a track called Freeze. So I wasn't gonna do it this soon, but to show my appreciation to all the people that have been showing love on these videos, I thought I had to get it out as soon as possible. Of course, we checked out uh, Power 106 Freestyle yesterday where he actually mentioned Freeze. He said it's a crazy beat, but there's actually a message within. So that excites me straight away. And also you guys have been recommending this track like crazy, so I thought we'd finally Finally check it out man. I say finally, but it's only been a, like a day since I said I was gonna do it But either way so far, I'm just so excited to keep checking out shit man because just ridiculously impressed Ridiculously talented guy. Just can't wait man. Before we jump into it guys If you are new around here, please drop a sub on the road to 10k and We're trying to hit that as soon as possible follow me on Twitter and Instagram in the description below And of course drop a like and a comment on the video as well. I really appreciate it. But without further ado Just get into this man freeze. Let's go Let's get it man Okay, so we got a bit more of an advanced music video straight away. Also sounding spooky as hell, man. Evil, bro. Yeah, I'm talking to you, freeze. Give it up, please. That's enough, breeze. Give it up, please. You're in my streets. Pulling up my trees. Mm. You got no stairs. Run along, bitch. Leave. Yeah, I'm talking hey. to you, freeze. A few of you told me in some of the previous videos in the comments that not only is he making the music bro, but he's actually doing the music videos as well, which is insane. If he's done like all of this with the visual effects as well, like the transitions, the way that Aisha's went over the road as well, just further proves the point that this guy's just ridiculously talented, like too talented, man. It's insane. You're in my streets, pulling up my trees. You got no stairs. Run along, bitch, leave. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Easy Mel. Mm. I'm fairly new to the game, but it came to eat and kill. Hope you don't think I'm insane, because, man, I'm pretty chill. So let me drink this propane and down these sleeping pills. Yeah, intoxication rules this hypocritic nation. What's the mm. true helping agent? Then this meeting. This God is playing, God is wasting the lies on superficial shit, kinda like I know I still don't got the budget for the goopy videos okay. The booties are all shaking from these stupid little hoes I don't have the budget for all these music videos with the booty shaking from these silly little hoes Okay man, I think he just busted out some dance moves as well bro That is another thing you guys said he can dance But like, how far does that statement really go without seeing it for yourself? Okay man this dude just needs to stop, man. He needs to stop. He's too, there's just too much in his arsenal. It's ridiculous. I think he said all these drugs in this hypocritic nation. Obviously, just speaking about, so far, I think publications and, and so just sort of promoting the wrong shit. And he's saying, you know, I don't have the money for these like crazy music videos. I'm just going to do it myself, bro. It's just a perfect example. He's literally doing this himself, man. Everything. Did he choreograph that dance shit? I just wouldn't put it past him, to be honest with you. Okay, man. Okay, we're gonna rewind a bit too far. The way that came in was hard, bro. God's wasting our lives. Okay, man. I feel like this is the hook as well. I didn't. I don't think we've heard a hook yet. So, um, so it's a solid one for sure. I think he was saying sort of they're manipulating, they manipulate younger people, they're manipulating sort of people in general, and they're aiming it at people that just aren't very smart and just aren't very conscious of what's going on, and they're just taking in all this bullshit that isn't really real. And that's sort of making sense because in that freestyle, before the freestyle, he said, um, the simple shit gets played but the stuff that actually challenges the brain gets pushed into the shade. And then he mentioned freeze after that, so that makes a lot of sense, that links in quite well. Okay, man. Dude, I'm just, I'm just blown away at this point, to be honest. I think this is like the proper, first proper track I've heard, because IDK apparently is in the kitchen, in the kitchen. I thought it was I don't know, but either way, uh, that was more of a, just straight bars, you know what I mean? This feels like a real, real sort of track. And so far, he's absolutely killing it, man. It shows that he's got that versatility to be able to actually be an artist, not just a rapper, if you know what I mean. That's enough, breeze. Look at the sleeves. You're in my streets. Pulling up my trees. You got no stairs. This is a really good Run hook, man. It's catchy. Yeah, I'm talking to you, freeze. Give it up, jeez. That's enough, breeze. Look at the sleeves. You're in my streets. Pulling up my trees. You got no stairs. Run along, bitch. 
I hate the miniature visions you have for your life. Think about your pride where you just open your eyes. It's like people just cutting themselves short and not shooting for the stars. And that's obviously what he's doing. He's shooting for the stars, I mean. Okay, man. Okay, bro, he's killing this, man. He's absolutely killing this, bro. Aura of music to choose, but I guess the masses fuck with the artists, loose the screws, only scratching the surface that's brought through by YouTube and news, scorching fire in the furnace of the youth who use it and lose the portion of their cerebellum, the prevents extortion of warning inhalants, influenced by foreign public figure peasants who think they are soaring like they're in the heavens, mm. morbidly forming a horde, more stories, scoring the hordes and the lore of torn glory, ignoring the hordes to dwarf my corpse, pouring florid and born new hordes, roaring sorry. Yeah. Okay, bro. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you, I was so entranced in that, I didn't hear a fucking word he just said. <laughs> Not a word he just said, but I know that it was mad, whatever it was. Uh, man, he's saying there's so much music to choose from, but people choose the people that have a, a screw loose. And then I think there was Takashi 6 9 on the TV, if I'm not mistaken. So imagine it's just the artists that aren't really putting out anything, anything of importance, I suppose, that are just a bit fucking crazy, <laughs> I imagine. Man, I just feel like, to be honest, this whole track so far has just been touching on... Touching on the industry, you know, and the way the media publications are forcing this this bullshit music that doesn't really have much meaning. I mean, it can be bullshit to some people, some people it's not. But I'm saying, in his in his stance, if you're going from like a lyrical, real, meaningful standpoint, I feel like he's sort of echoing his frustration at, um, at the fact that that stuff doesn't get recognised and it's more just the young people that just don't really have much conscience as listening to this shit that just isn't promoting the right thing, I, I imagine, because he spoke about drugs and the hypocritic nation, etc. Man, I know what you mean now, I know what you mean about the meaning behind this, bro. It's crazy, bro. Crazy, man. Yeah. But apologies don't mean shit anymore than ever. So better to meddle. Giving through my hustle and my bustle, turning every single speck of my struggle into a definite lyrical muscle. I will never be the kind of man that abandons my family because I feel sad. I get no reply. I hope everything will look bad for you and the fucking commit suicide. I ain't fucking with you. Please. I'm vibe with selfish motherfuckers. That's enough. Babe. I was raised by family. We had a differences, but those differences don't never make us quit being family. This is to all of you fake motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Please. Give it up. Please. That's enough. Please. Man, it's all you fake motherfuckers. Had to pause it, had to pause it on the credit, bro. That's just mad. That's just so crazy. So crazy. There's just too versatile, man. Way too versatile. Okay, guys, that was Easy Mill with this track, Freeze. Um, that was just insane, bro. So impressive. So much in there, man. Oh, God. So, the overall vibe of it, like I sort of mentioned at the end of the track, was it was speaking about the industry and just how corrupt everything is and how the real artists sort of don't, don't get heard as much. And again, like I said, it's going back to that Power 106 thing about the simple music is what they want to play because it's just so, people are so impressionable nowadays, you know? And this promoting the wrong thing, I think, was the sort of the vibe he was getting at. You know, that there's no real meaning or realness in the music that does get promoted and the stuff that is good and actually challenges your brain and makes you think about it gets pushed to the shade because it's not as easy to listen to or to understand. And I suppose he's sort of, I've discussed with other artists as well that have mentioned this about how the message being sort of, sort of misconstrued in a sense and you have to be a certain kind of person to sort of listen and take in that sort of stuff. Not to, not saying, not roasting anyone that isn't that kind of person, but I suppose this is what he's touching on is the real stuff just doesn't really get recognized. And that is the case, man. That is the case. A lot of people don't like the real message behind stuff, you know, because it sort of ruins the vibe or whatever, but I really fucking enjoy it, bro, and I thought that was great. So many different avenues he went down when it came to the vocals, when it came to rapping, the hook was great. I thought that was a proper song that you would bump, and now I get what he meant about it being sort of like a club banger beat-wise, but then having a message behind it, and I suppose it's almost, again, it's quite playing on that idea that the beat is really hard and people are going to fuck with it because of the beat but then actually there's something deep within it's like merging the two which i think was really clever i think the video was absolutely fantastic man really well shot shout out to the other dude i forgot his name already but the fact that it's all the fucking visual effects and all the editing and everything like it was some good shit in there man the vfx were crazy like i couldn't do that in my entire lifetime and he's doing that the dancing as well the rapping like just dude what on earth man I'm just blown away. This dude, this like, 
this dude just does every single thing he receives from now on when it comes down to to approval and making it big he deserves all of it man because you can feel the the amount of effort that's going into this shit he wants this badly bro do you know what i mean and he deserves it because there are not a lot of artists out there that are doing all of this shit and it's done so well it's not like he's doing it all in a half-assed manner he's doing it all to his full potential i mean to be honest he probably even isn't there's probably he's definitely got higher higher ceiling than most artists man i'm just like i'm just blown away by this guy to be honest with you Absolutely blown away, man. That was absolutely fantastic. I appreciate everyone telling me to check this out. Uh, put some more easy mail in the comments below, man, and we'll get uh, get into another one. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, drop a like. If you're drawing my stuff, point you want to see me again, then please drop a sub. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram in the description below. If you have any questions for any easy mail or anyone else, chuck it in the comments below. For the meantime, guys, I've been Charlie. This has been Freeze, and I'll see you in the next one.